All the following pieces are taken from my selected poems, with the exception of Gold, which is to be found in Preludes. Both volumes are published by Messrs. Sidwick and Jackson. Mystery. Think not that mystery has place in the obscure and veiled face, or when the midnight watches are uncompanied of moon or star, or where the fields and forests lie enfolded from the loving eye by fogs rebellious to the sun, or when the poet's rhymes are spun from dreams that even in his own imagining are half unknown. These are not mysteries, but mere conditions that deny the clear reality that lies behind the weak and speculative mind, beyond the contagions of the air and screams of beauty everywhere, the brooding and tormented sky, the hesitation of an eye. Look rather when the landscapes glow through crystal distances, as though the forty shires of England spread into one vision harvested, or when the moonlit waters lie in silver cold lucidity. Those countenances such that bear witness to very character, and listen to the song that weighs a life's adventure in a phrase. These are the founts of wonder, these the plainer miracles to please the brain that reads the world aright. Here is the mystery of life. The vagabond. I know the pools where the grayling rise. I know the trees where the filberts fall. I know the woods where the red fox lies, the twisted elms where the brown owls call. And I've seldom a shilling to call me own, and there's never a girl I'd marry. I thank the Lord I'm a rolling stone with never a care to carry. I talk to the stars as they come and go on every night from July to June. I'm free of the speech of the winds that blow and I know what weather will sing what tune. I sow no seed and I pay no rent and I thank no man for his bounties. But I've a treasure that's never spent. I'm lord of a dozen counties. Moonlit apples. At the top of the house the apples are laid in rows, and the skylight lets the moonlight in, and those apples are deep sea apples of green. There goes a cloud on the moon in the autumn night. A mouse in the wainscot scratches and scratches, and then there is no sound at the top of the house of men or mice, and the cloud is blown. And the moon again dapples the apples with deep sea light. They are lying in rows there under the gloomy beams on the sagging floor. They gather the silver streams out of the moon, those moonlit apples of dreams. And quiet is the steep stair under. In the corridors under there is nothing but sleep. And stiller than ever on orchard boughs, they keep crisp with the moon, and deep is the silence, deep on moon-washed apples of wonder. Birthright. Lord Ramesses of Egypt sighed, because a summer evening passed, and a little Ariadne cried, that summer fancy fell at last to dust, and young Verona died when beauty's hour was overcast. Theirs was the bitterness we know, because the clouds of Hawthorne keep so short a state, and kisses go to tombs unfathomably deep, while Ramesses and Romeo and a little Ariadne sleep. <laughs>